What's up guys? So today I am talking about how I lost 10 pounds in one month and no I'm not lying, no I don't know, but I didn't intend to lose weight really so I would have documented it had that been the intention but I didn't. I just can only tell you guys what happened so let me tell you. Oh. Before I get started, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Hit a like button, follow me on everything, cause why not? Show me some love, okay? But honestly, like, do what you wanna do regardless. If you don't know, I am having a giveaway. It's a jacket, but a cool jacket. So if you wanna know the rules for anything, follow me on Instagram, I have a post about it, or look at my last video, cause all the information is in the description. Before I get into the actual video itself, let me say something. Everything that I'm saying in this video worked for me. It may not work for you, so don't like expect my result on you. Also, if you're trying to lose weight, the healthiest way is eating right and exercising, I feel. Don't starve yourself. I do not, I don't want that to be in your mindset. Not that I'm starving myself, but you know, just take care of yourselves. Don't do anything that can harm your body because I would not want that ever. I've always loved my body. I've learned to accept it. I just wanted to, you know, level up my body, you know, get some abs here. Ugh. Let me start off with how much I weighed before. I weighed about 122, 123. I don't know what went kind of up and down. Uh, my diet was really eating fast food all the time, chicken nuggets, as you know. I've always been active, I've always been dancing, doing something. Over the course of the time since I graduated high school, I have been kind of gaining more weight. I could tell from old photos, like even now, I'll look at old photos from right when I got out of high school or two years after, and I can see it in my face where I'm like, not chubby, but fuller. I don't know, I just didn't really like the lifestyle I was living. I was okay eating with what I wanted, but the thing is I didn't feel good about myself. Like, I just felt lazy, I don't know. I just didn't feel good. I have my list here, okay, this is grocery, but I have my list here so I can be a little bit more organized with this video because I don't have that much time to film. But as I was going through the years, I kind of started working out a little bit more, but I was still always eating bad. So the number one thing that I would say if you're trying to lose weight or anything is eat better. I know that's like something so cool cliche that everyone says, but it's true. I definitely started shifting my whole, not only mentality, but my whole like lifestyle. So I definitely stopped eating as bad as I did and indulging a lot. You can't just go from eating really bad to eating really healthy, because I feel like, at least for me, it never works that way. You have to find some sort of balance or ease your way into it. And that's kind of what I did over the course of the years. But even up until like a month ago, I was still eating pretty bad. Definitely not as bad as before. So number one, definitely eating better. <laughs> but number two, I <laughs> it's funny because the last month I was in school and dealing with finals and stuff. I wasn't really going to the gym. I was so stressed out with school that I think that had a little bit of, to do with my body. But number two, stress. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend stressing yourself out. Sometimes people gain weight when they get stressed out, so that just happened for me, and I feel like that is a key factor into that. But number three, working out. Even though I say I was in finals, that was like the first two weeks of the month, but after that, I definitely started going to the gym a lot more, and going every other day or every two days. I just personally like going to the gym. I feel like it's a big stress reliever, and I feel like my life is always intact when I go to the gym. But if you're gonna go to the gym and your main goal is to lose weight, definitely cardio will help you. Sweating and just doing all that. I sometimes use the little sweat band to do that, and it helps to sweat. So that's number three, going to the gym, doing some cardio, you know, being healthy with it. Don't overwork yourself. Just go there for a nice hour and do what you need to do. And you should see results just from that. Not right away, but you'll start to even feel better about yourself. So it goes way beyond just going to the gym and looking fit. Hold on, before I continue this video, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a fitness person. I'm just explaining what happened in my life and what seemed to work for me. So please do not quote me or anything. Like, do your research first, because I'm not the one. Those are, I feel like, very general ways to lose weight, and I feel like 
those take a little bit more time to do but they do help they've helped me so I don't know besides the stress one, that was a little bit too much but number four with the working out and doing cardio since I was sweating at that point I started wanting to obviously build muscle because my main region of focus is my stomach and I need to build a little bit of muscle so I definitely incorporated a lot more chicken a lot more just anything with protein I think that's the beans I started eating more veggies I don't know if that helps but basically what I eat in a day could be like chicken rice brown rice um, broccoli really really simple really plain I mean you could spice it up adding more protein into my diet I do drink muscle milk I drink this one um, it doesn't have that much stuff I feel like this is like the lighter one I just was like what has some protein in it I've been drinking this for about a year now I want to say I get it from Costco they sell it like this and I usually drink it after a workout and it's cool it's not the heavy stuff I feel but I don't want the heavy stuff I just want to be lean a little bit abs a little bit toned here and there that's definitely something that's been helping my body look a lot better so protein that's number four. I'm down to the last three things and I feel like these were for sure the number one reasons why I lost that much amount of weight. Number whatever, I don't know, five, six, five. Water. Our bodies are made up of water from what I've heard. So you want to drink water. I wake up, drink a glass of water. And when I go to sleep, I drink a lot of water and I carry a flask not a flask, thermos, a uh, canteen, canteen. It keeps my water pretty cool, pretty nice. That's been something that's been making me feel a lot better and I think it might have something to do with me sweating. But like I said, don't quote me, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be cheesy and drink my water. That was number five, water. So, But number six, apple cider vinegar. I'm sure you've heard about it, the apple cider vinegar diet. That has definitely been helping me lose weight. I didn't buy it for the purpose of losing weight, but I do hear that a lot of people do. With changing my diet and eating a little bit better, I drink a shot of apple cider vinegar in the morning. The apple cider vinegar that I do drink, oh, I just get chills when I see it because I don't like it. It's not good, but this is the one I drink. Mm. But I feel like incorporating that into my diet, it kind of flushes out the bad things that I eat but then again I'm not eating as bad as I used to if you're gonna do that number one do your research make sure it's okay for your body I would ask your doctor because it's something kind of like a little intense that's number five or number six but the number one thing that has helped me and I think what has done all this is cutting out red meat I I'm not a vegetarian or vegan. I do try to incorporate a lot of vegan things to my diet. I grew up in a Hispanic household, so meat is like everywhere. And I grew up with meat, so it's not an easy like thing to cut out. But anytime I feel like I was eating red meat, it was always unhealthy. I never ate it and felt good afterwards or healthy, and everyone has their opinions on it. And I personally don't think red meat is healthy for you just because of all the all the shit they put in cows in. I'm not saying chicken is any different. I need some source of protein, so that's why I eat a lot of chicken. Um, do I want to be vegetarian or vegan in the future? Maybe. I could see myself being vegetarian. Vegan, I'm not totally sure. Immediately when I stopped eating red meat, I hadn't weighed myself until like last week. And when I weighed myself, I was 111. That was like the last and number one reason to me losing weight. Like I said before, it might not work for you. Um, this is my body, this is just what happened with me. So if it does work with you, that's awesome, but please don't do it in an unhealthy way. And I'm not saying to cut out red meat. There's so many other ways to lose weight. That's just how all this happened. I appreciate all of you guys. I hope this helped you. Don't forget about my giveaway. Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button too. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time in my new video. Bye.